So again, my name is Kyla Edinger. I'm a pediatric SLP and my husband, Ken, and I created our company, Speakeasy Community, to provide caregivers with good quality materials and on speech and language development. And we wanted to see how we could better use technology to help improve speech therapy outcomes and provide more support to caregivers. So there are a few problems in our field that I'm sure a lot of you will resonate with, like wait lists. The clinic I used to work at, I would do an evaluation and I'd make my recommendations and then the child would typically start therapy three to six months later, sometimes even longer. Not to mention that initial wait time that the families had already gone through waiting for the evaluation. And we all know how quickly, particularly at that young age, children can change and develop and how quickly they could improve if they got the intervention right away. And problem number two carry over. So we all know that consistent daily practice is the ideal for learning those speech and language concepts, but it's tricky to figure out how to help families take what we do in a 30 to 60 minute session and incorporate that into their everyday life, even if that session was conducted in their home. Which leads us to the third problem, time. We'd all love to spend more time with parents, explaining those terms and concepts, generating ideas for implementing all those techniques at home every day, and teaching that information that we spent all of grad school learning is hard to condense into just a few minutes. We probably would be helping parents more with carryover if we all just had more time, but we don't. So we thought about what it was that families needed outside of speech therapy and what resources we could tap into that could amplify the effects of speech therapy. And of course, we looked at some of the research. So you might be familiar with some of these early intervention best practices. It should be in the natural environment. Learning is most meaningful for families when uh, it's in the space where they are most comfortable and where they spend most of their time. It should also be routines based. Therapy that's delivered around routines is gonna make goals functional and easier for families to achieve. And it should be family-centered. That idea that the whole family should really be receiving treatment, not just the child when we're giving therapy. So we should be thinking about supporting adult learning too. And they're getting that in their speech therapy sessions, but um, we wanted to see what we could do outside of that. So we took all of that information into account and we have created an app that we think will be both fun and really functional for families. So our Speakeasy Community app is based around those early intervention principles, the natural environment. It's designed for home practice. It reinforces speech and language concepts in a place that's comfortable and familiar for families. It is routines based. Our activities are built into daily routines so that they feel attainable for families and they're easier to incorporate into their everyday practices. And it's focused on caregiver learning. Um, the, app, the idea is to empower caregivers with information and focus on that adult learning so that we can help caregivers become more confident teachers and start to recognize those teachable speech and language moments more spontaneously when they occur at home when the therapist is not there. And all of that is gonna mean better therapy outcomes for you. So this is a really big day for us. It's the first time we're releasing our Speakeasy app. It's the beta version. <laughs> and uh, I'm really excited to show you what's inside. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a sneak peek and a little tour through the app. Um, we're actually releasing the beta version a little bit earlier than we had anticipated because we thought it was a really good time to get it out there and get it to as many caregivers as possible who could start using it for home language practice now. And so it's available on our website uh, for SLPs and caregivers starting today. Um, and I'll tell you how to sign up for it in just a little bit. So let's look through the video here. So we're gonna take you through the caregiver version so that you know uh, what it's gonna look like for families. Um, but when you sign up as an SLP, you'd have a few different features that caregivers don't see, like access to content at all of the levels. So the app is customizable to four different developmental levels, and we really wanted to focus on development rather than age. So caregivers start out by answering questions to place their child in pre-verbal, first words, word combiner, or full sentences. So for this demo, 
I'm going to pretend that we have a child that says a few words. So does my child say a word? Yes. Does my child combine two or more words? Not yet. And then here are some traits that we'd expect of first word users. Then we can click on let's go first word user and agree to that level. And once they finish setting up their account and going through some intro videos, they're going to find themselves on their journey page. So the journey is the home page of the app and we know there's so much information out there. We really wanted to set up an organized guided experience for caregivers. So from here, caregivers navigate through different sets of activities. The sets are each based around common early language techniques, a lot of the ones you've heard about today. Um, the first three here are face-to-face, -face, exaggerate, and pausing. And then each set has five activities within it. And they're designed to promote that repetition of the technique in different contexts. So we all know how important repetition is to learning, not just for children, but also for adults. Through repetition, we hope to make caregivers more confident in using the techniques that you may have already shown them in speech therapy, but when their therapist isn't around. So as we scroll down here and progress along the journey, you'll see more techniques. And you'll also notice that each set is in one common routine to make it easier to incorporate. So we have playtime, mealtime, bath time, and bedtime, and then some seasonal specials like that get messy summer set because I know how much we all love seasonal materials. So let's check out one of the sets together. We can click into face to face there. And the first thing they'll see is a video explaining the technique. Let's watch it together. This is your first speech set, a group of five activities meant to get your child talking. This set teaches you how to get face to face with your child. Try these activities at playtime. So why get face to face? When your child is able to watch your mouth movements and facial expressions, they can learn to imitate you more easily. You and your child have more opportunities for back and forth verbal and nonverbal communication, which improves your interactions. Plus, it gives your child a chance to practice making eye contact and sharing attention on the same object. These skills are important for learning words and for social communication. So once they've watched the intro video, then the user can choose between five different activities in the set. So they'll go to the set there, and then we can click over there on number two, Tube Tunes, and check that one out. So now we're gonna be on the activity page and caregivers can then read or listen to the activity, which tells them what to do and then gives them some specific suggestions for what they can say to their child during that activity. So this one's using toilet paper tubes to practice different kinds of fun sounds with the child. And each activity has a few different parts. So after the activity itself, then they keep scrolling down to learning time. This is where we talk about why we're recommending the specific activity and what areas of speech and language we're working on with it. So caregivers can read more details about that in here, answer some questions. And then we also go through some possible questions that might come up for the caregiver um, during the activity and ways they can respond to their child. So here we have uh, some suggestions for the caregiver if the child doesn't repeat any sounds when they first try the activity. So once they've gone through all of that information, then they can click I read it and they collect their frequent talker points, which they get for each activity they read. And then the app prompts them to do the most important part, go try it out with the child. So each time they level up, then they're going to have access to a new learning lab, which is their short articles on important speech and language topics that we think might be interesting for caregivers. So we'll go into learning labs there and we can click on does baby talk help? And then they can read through that information. This one's teaching about child-directed speech. And at the end of each page, there's a little quiz question to see if they were paying attention. So which is a feature of parentese, speaking slowly and exaggerating? And they get their points there for that. 
And then the caregiver can keep flipping through the pages to complete that learning lab. And then this one goes on to talk about recasting complete sentences instead of repeating a child's baby talk. So that is our Speakeasy app in a nutshell. Our goal is that families would be able to go through one activity per day, ideally. We want to make it manageable, but regular enough to still make a difference in between speech therapy sessions. We really hope it's useful for you and for some of the families that you work with. We thought you might have a few questions as you were watching that, so I'm going to go through a few questions. Uh, one, of course, is it free? Yes, the beta version is totally free. What we have finished and available right now is four sets, about a month's worth of activities for families. And there will always be some content available for free as we continue. We wanna make it affordable and accessible for as many people as possible. Um, when we do release the subscription version with the full app in a few months, we're gonna keep adding more content and more features with that. And then, who should use the app? So caregivers of children with delays, like we've been talking about, um, can you know, practice their therapy techniques at home and improve carryover with it. But it can also be really helpful for caregivers of typically developing children just to go through the information and ideas and get ideas to help their children keep advancing. And what about those in-between cases, those kids that don't quite qualify for services or the families that are kind of on the fence about looking for services, but they could still use some home resources to get started. Uh, and also those caregivers who are waiting, whether they're waiting for an evaluation or waiting for treatment in between after their evaluation or waiting to see if their teletherapy services are gonna come through. Um, it would be a great time to offer that resource and get them started. How can I help? I'm glad you asked. You can go to speakeasycommunity.com on your phone, follow the sign-in steps as a professional, um, and you can do it right now while I'm talking if you want to take a look at it. I'll give you a few seconds and you can go to the website if you want to. And then once you take a look at the app, please send us your feedback. This is our beta version. We want to keep improving it and making it better for families, so we're looking for your professional feedback. Send us a note, let us know what you love, what else you'd like to see in the app, what isn't quite working for you, um, any suggestions that you have. And then help us spread the word. Think of a family or several who could use it right now and share it. There's a spot in your account under your me page that you can go and invite a friend and keep sharing it. So while you are signing up, I'll go over a few more questions that you might have. I'm a professional, is this for me? Yeah, absolutely. So the version that I showed you today was the caregiver demo so that you can see what it's gonna look like for families. But we do have an SLP version that you'll use um, when you sign up and it has access to all four of those different developmental levels that you can switch between so you can uh, see the difference between the levels. Can I use it on desktop? Um, Yes, you can. Um, it is optimized for mobile as a web app, but it does function on desktop if you want to do that. What age is it for? So as I had mentioned, um, we really like to measure in stage rather than age. So we have four non-age-based levels, which are the pre-verbal first words, word combiner, and then full sentences. And the pre-verbal stage is great for those earliest communicators working on skills before and leading up to first words. And then that last level full sentences would be appropriate for children who are using longer sentences, working on more advanced skills, like uh, starting to tell narratives and phonological awareness. And we're planning to continue expanding that more in the future. And most importantly, when will the full version launch? So you can look for it in an app store near you in summer 2020. So Speakeasy is by no means a substitute for speech therapy. I wanna be really clear about that. No technology is a substitute for speech therapy, uh, but we think it will be a great supplement. Um, please help us support our app, sign up, spread the word to anyone who could use it, and be patient today and just in case our systems get a little overloaded. If you do have any issues, you can email us at hello at speakeasycommunity.com. So thank you so much for walking through the app with me. We really hope you like it and uh, it was really great sharing it with you. I'm looking forward to your feedback.